So we've been in quarantine like eight or nine months, and my husband and I just needed a bit of a break just for mental health purposes. We went over to Montecito, and that's in California. We went to the Rosewood Miramar Beach Inn that's in Montecito, and that's like Santa Barbara area. So we got to walk along the Pacific Ocean coast, and that is the Miramar Beach. And as you can see, Giz is living his best life. (laughs) I am definitely a Baywatch beach bunny in my Team No Sun straw hat, legging, sweatshirt, (laughs) and of course, following the mask rule. I have my mask on, and I stand out like a sore thumb at the beach. I wanted to do a quick get ready with me to showcase the products that I actually travel with. I am a lip balm obsessed type of person and the fact that I've been sleeping on the Lano Lips brand is kind of disappointing. I got the original 101 ointment multi-purpose super balm and I have to say out of all my lip balms it is awesome. Next is my sunblock that I use every single day. I love Skin Medica Total Defense and Repair SPF 34. I wear this every day. Even if I'm not going out, I put it on. It's important to place the sunblock not just on your face, but your neck on the front as well as the back and then on your chest. And if you're out and about, of course, your hands and your arms if they're exposed. Next is going to be my other everyday kind of skin tint protectant is going to be Ilia Beauty's Super Serum Skin Tint in SPF 40. I'm a huge fan of it. I'm in shade Kokimi and that is a medium tan with warm undertones. It's super light coverage. It kind of smells like a a little bit of like a funky kind of cinnamon. So FYI on that. It has ingredients like zinc oxide and that shields you from UVA, UVB, and UVC blue light and infrared rays. The only problem with this product is the packaging. It leaks very easily. I usually just take it on like a shorter distance where where I'm driving and I will wrap it up and I will have it in my drink holder in the car. (laughs) Next is my favorite concealer that I use. It's one of my holy grail items. It's the Kosas Super Creamy Revealer Concealer. It is brightening. It has a creamy texture. It's a medium kind of natural finish. I use the Hourglass Vanish seamless finish concealer brush. That one's really cool because it's not only a cruelty-free brand, it looks super glamorous. The synthetic hairs are compacted super tight, but it has this interesting curve half moon kind of cut to the hairs. So it gently sweeps under your eyes. I can't say enough good things about this brush. Next is going to be Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. I have it in the dewy muted peach shade called Joy. Be really careful. It's really pigmented. It is easy to get out of control. And I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Brush. You can use it, of course, for foundation, but here I'm using it to buff in the blush, but I had so much on. So I'm using a towel to try and take it off because I had put way too much on. I'm using whatever's left over on the concealer brush to kind of go back over the spots and then a little lower towards the cheek and the side of the temples to kind of calm down that blush. It's just very pigmented, which is great, but I use way too much. These are awesome. The Glossier Skywash Shadows. Here I'm putting on Pebble as the base, and that's going to be like a neutral taupe. Pebble actually matches my skin tone to my lid, so I use it basically as a base. Okay. And then here I am, I'm using Rare Beauty. This is the Selena Gomez line. Her Brow Harmony Pencil, use it in cool brown. 
a little goes a long way. Be careful, you have to be really light handed with it. It's almost like coloring like a little stick of fudge on your eyebrows, it's really weird. But for me, it works. And next in Glossier Skywash's eyeshadow, so it's a sheer matte lid tint and this is going to be valley and it's a beautiful warm peach i'm using just a whatever blender brush from like space nk just to kind of like buff it into my lid i just need 10 minutes to do my makeup and then i'll uh, start packing is that okay oh hi So I want to do the Coco Brown Color Echo by Glossier, their Skywash lid tints. I'm going to put it in my crease for a little depth. This is a very, very rich, chocolatey hue, so a little goes a long way. I'm put my power on the table. Uh, I can't see, but I'll look in a minute. Side note, Gizmo does this thing when he wants attention, he'll get up on the chair, like if he wants to go out and chase the squirrels, and he'll put his paw on the table because he's trying to get your attention. It's like he's mimicking us and acting like a human. I don't know. All I know is it's absolutely adorable, and he's like 13 pounds of sass. Don't worry. I'm not nasty. I do Lysol wipe where his paw goes on our table. <laughs> To what? To make the gears angry. <laughs> I'd rather not see that. He just grunts and gets upset. One of my favorite eyeliners, the lasting power is incredible. It goes on smooth. You know I don't like sharpening pencils because the wood can always be a future injury. And also wood has pores and it can hold on to bacteria. I also like this shade because it's very universal, but it's not like a flat brown. It's a very rich brown with golden shimmer. Next, I am putting on Patrick Ta Beauty's Major Brow Shaping Wax. It's to basically keep my hairs in order all day. You need to activate it, so I'm using Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist to do so. I do have a thorough review on this one, and the link is down below. I love the Super Goop Shimmer Shade, the illuminating cream eyeshadows. I think these are fantastic as well. They do have SPF in them, which is pretty cool. I'm going to use my Jenny Patinkin, I think I'm saying your name right, Omed Multi Blender Brush. This is the older version, and I'm going to use that just to kind of do around the perimeter of my eyes to give it a little bit of brightness. Do I even have to introduce this? This is the Surratt Releve Lash Curler. It's literally in all my videos. I love it. It's great. And I'm actually testing out lash primers and I'm really feeling them. This is going to be Tarte Cosmetics. It's the opening act lash primer. And I get this white primer stuff like coated all over my lashes. So I let the primer set. And next is my Ilia Beauty Mini Limitless Lash Lengthening Mascara. And I'm going to line my lips with Patrick Top Beauty. Again, one of his products. It's going to be the Precision Lip Crayon in She's Humble. And that's a pink neutral. I'm a fan of the click ups. You know, I don't like sharpening lip liners or eyeliners. I think they carry a lot of bacteria and I think that they're always a future injury. So next is gonna be one of my many holy grail lipsticks by Kosas. It's the Weightless Lip Color Lipstick in Rose Water. So this is a cool toned pink nude and it is gorgeous. And to finish it off, I like to have a little bit of like a glossy topper. I'm going to do Ilia Beauty's beautiful balmy gloss tinted oil in petals. So I'm going to go for a more golden kind of bronze, very natural look. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. And I have it in tan. Medium was way too light for me. It like matched my skin. And I'm just basically warming up my face with the bronzer. It's really beautiful. And you know, guys, I'm so picky about bronze. I'm very picky and I love this one. This is a great one. 
Last but definitely not least, Hourglass's Ambient Powder. And I'm using the Ambient Powder brush. And this just gives a really pretty soft glow. Though it's a bit fuzzy, here is my finished look in indoor lighting and we'll go outdoors in a second. But I just like this kind of very subtle bronzed, just not too much makeup on the face look. So the following day, we went, of course, in the morning to the beach, and then we went to our horse riding appointment, which was quite nice, actually. I had the pleasure of riding the alpha male, which sounds weird saying it out loud. <laughs> His name is Duke, and he was very patient with me because I am an inexperienced rider. My husband is experienced. I've ridden horses play like total of five times in my life. So thank you, Duke, for not bucking me off successfully. We took the horses onto the beach and it was really beautiful. And one thing I love about horses is you can do little tricks to control them, but at the end of the day, it is a partnership and it's about trust and self-confidence and having confidence in the horse. And that's one thing I'm working on. I'd like to ride horses more in the future to work on that type of confidence of control and partnership. Right, right here is where I'm thanking Duke and praising him for not killing me. So you can see here, uh, they no, had these well, two little miniature horses. They were brother and sister. I think they were Nikki and Luigi or something. They were so cute, their little faces. I hope you guys enjoy my little vlog video. Please like, share, subscribe, and please use the comments to let me know what you think about this video, if you wanna see other types of videos, and let me know what have you done for your mental health during this crazy time right now with the pandemic. Thanks so much for your time, guys.